Hi, my name is Tracy Cook. Join us for an enlightening conversation with a woman who's not just a leader in her field, but she is a game changer. She is a visionary woman of tomorrow. She is blazing new trails and creating opportunities for others to follow. You don't want to miss the valuable insights and the wisdom that our upcoming guest, Hannah Cooper Louie has to share with you today. Welcome as a visionary woman, a leader and thought leader of tomorrow. I'm interested, Hannah, how did you evolve into a visionary woman? Well, first and foremost, I would just like to say thank you so much, Tracy, for this amazing platform. You are a queen of visionary, and thank you for giving me the grace to be able to be one of your guests on this amazing Empire podcast. So thank you so much. So visionary, I am a visionary person. Everything around me, it's about visualizing my dreams, my aspirations, and my goals. And so what I do is immediately I'm able to actually just execute with faith, Because sometimes we have a vision and sometimes some of us, we don't have the ability or the skills or even the confidence to be able to execute it. And so I believe in having a vision and also giving birth to that vision. And that vision could be you starting a business. It could be that you want to start a project within your community. So whatever your vision is, it's important that you actually have the power, the ability to be able to give birth to it. And if you are struggling, there are coaches and there are mentors that could actually help you to basically give birth to it. And so I've been on a journey of really supporting others to give birth to their dreams, especially those who are female leaders, who are, you know, women in businesses and also business owners to actually use the power of their voice to share their message through podcasting. And so I've been able to gain awards and also recognition because I decided to give myself a chance, an opportunity to be able to help others to become visionary just like I am as well. You are absolutely amazing. And when I said game changer, I really mean it because just your natural flair and your care for others is really apparent when you um, show up, when you've got your presence. And I'm really interested to see uh, what would be the biggest tips and feedback that you get from your followers and from your audience and from your your clients um, as into how you actually mentor and show up and and how that impacts your day-to-day business business and brand. Absolutely. I think first and foremost, as a visionary woman, you've got to have the confidence and you've got to believe in yourself because many of us, we are lacking confidence. And so that really prevents us from being the best version of ourselves. And what I do is to impact those who are listening to my podcast or those who are mentoring and also coaching to have the power to be their authentic self, to show up unapologetically, be authentic and also stay in your lane because it's so vital for you to understand where you have been called to lead as a leader and also as a visionary. And once you understand what that is, then you're able to flow. I remember us um, just at the beginning of this podcast um, telling you so many great things about yourself because you are an amazing leader yourself. You are a great visionary yourself. And I see how confident you are. And it really kind of exudes, you know, in terms of all the things that you have been doing in impacting women, bringing them together. And, you know, that is what it's all about. When you are yourself, you become a great leader and also you're able to shine and also attract your tribe. So the tips are confidence in yourself, believe in who you have been called to be, and also ensure that you get the support that you need to help you to position yourself as the person that you visualize yourself to be. And those things are very important. They certainly are some definite golden nuggets there. Now we all have our up days. We all have our down days. How do you break through and how important is mindset in things that you do? Yeah, mindset is important. Those are the first things that you need to focus on. Because when we have the right mindset, what happens is that you're able to focus on a specific goal. You're able to focus on a specific vision of yourself, of your life or your career or a business. Because everything begins with mindset. When your mind is completely set 
on something that you want to achieve. No one is going to change your mind because your focus is there, your determination is there, your drive is there. And so making sure that you are focused on something and it, has, it doesn't have to be millions of things, just one thing. And then, you know, make sure that you get um, an amazing plan on how you're going to execute it, how you're going to bring it to life, things that you need, who needs to be around you, who needs to be there to support you, to get you to the finishing line. And then you're able to actually execute it and also believing in you and in your dreams. Those things are so vital. So mindset is the first thing, because sometimes if your mind is not set properly, what will happen is that you will continue to kind of, um, you know, second guess yourself. You will not believe in the abilities of the skills that you have or in anything that you want to give birth to. So make sure that your mindset is right and make sure that you continue to focus on where you want to be and who you want to be. And who you want to be. That is absolutely amazing because if things don't change, things don't change. And sometimes we're on autopilot running through life. And when we become aware and conscious, like you just brought to light just then so so perfectly, we, we see things differently. We do things differently. And then we know when to change things and be different as well. And really stepping into your authentic power. You are just dropping some golden nuggets. And what would be some kind of business tips that you would share? with our audience today as well absolutely so never be scared to start a business especially when you have an idea so the first things that you want to do is to basically write down your ideas because we all have amazing ideas write down your ideas and also write down your skills what is your skill set what can you do what do people say to you that oh you are such an amazing you know creator in a certain field What is it that people tell you that you can do? Write those things down and then ask yourself, what can I do? Once you have identified what you can do, start thinking about how can I be of service to somebody else? How can I serve these skills? How can I serve this this talent or this gift of mine to somebody and in return monetize it? So number one, it's about identifying what your skill set is and what your idea is. Write it down because when you have a vision, you've got to write it down because it will come to pass. Okay, so a plan is something that needs to be written down. And once you write it down, you're able to go back to it and start to execute it. Then number two, you want to find clients. Who am I serving? What do they look like? Who is my client avatar? And also, um, what is their pain point? What is it that they're struggling with? Now, when I look at my skills and I look at the pain point of those who are my target audience, how can I serve them? And then the third thing is to actually now just go forward and get a client, right? So idea. And then also sort out who your client idea is and also look for how you're going to monetize it. So I would always say start with one client and, you know, make sure that they have a pain point that you want to solve with them and tell them that, you know, what I would love to help you. And in return, you can probably give me a testimonial, a video recording testimonial or maybe a written testimonial. And also, can I also share that testimonial on my social media platform so that people can see what I can do. And I will charge you a very small fee. And I'm sure whoever that client is will be so happy to do that because you've actually helped them to solve a problem. So always remember your skills really matters and you can turn those skills into a profitable business. And that's the advice I have for you. Wow, I am just blown away because it's so practical, it's so yeah. relatable, and it just mm-hmm. clarifies everything so so clearly to, to set that path to get yes. that out and onto paper as well and check it every day. Hannah, you are an absolute rock star. What plans have you got coming up in 2023 for yourself? Right, so I'm launching um, some programs and some courses. Um, you know, I do have the Birth Your Vision podcast and I interview lots of great guests who are, um, you know, coaches and businesses and also TED speakers. And so they inspire other people to give birth to their dreams. So I'm, you know, doing an amazing course around that to help aspiring entrepreneurs to give birth to their dreams and to give birth to their visions. I'm also, you know, helping those who are launching podcasts as well, who wants to actually start to give them the opportunity to share their message, their story, to amplify their voice 
services as well. And, you know, today I'm giving away a very special offer, which is actually a discovery call. So um, for any of you who are listening to me today and you are interested in kind of, you know, starting on a journey in giving birth to your podcast or maybe giving birth to a dream, a business idea, then please do get in touch. All the links will be shared in the show notes. Oh, definitely get in contact with Hannah. And like she said, the links to contact her will be in our show notes. She is an entrepreneur on fire. She is a visionary leader of tomorrow and she has the most amazing children and she's just paving the way. She she is the light. So connect with her. Do yourself a favour. Jump into (laughs) Hannah's inbox and message her. Even if it's just for a conversation, for a clarity, for a strategy session, she is going to lead the way. And collaboration, that is the new currency. Build your networks, okay, and just be yourself, as Hannah has said. Thank you very much. What kind of message would you like to leave our audience on today? Yes, you know what, Um, if you are watching today and you're listening, I really want to just inspire you to get started That is my mantra. There are so many people who have actually um, gone to the grave without giving birth to their vision. And so I ask you today, what is your vision? What is that dream that you have inside of you that you have been struggling to give birth to? Is it that you want to become a podcaster? Is it that you want to become a business owner? Is it that you want to help your community? What is that vision that you have inside of you? So I encourage you today to get started. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are not seeking perfectionism, but we want you to just make a start today. Write down the things that you want to do and execute it with faith. And I hope that really inspires you and helps you. She is inspirational. She is a thought leader. (laughs) She is a trailblazer. I cannot edify Hannah enough. She is perfect just the way she is in everything that she does as a visionary woman. Thank you very much for your time today, Hannah, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much, Tracy. It's been a pleasure. And I just want to say how marvelous and wonderful you are. You are a woman of power of grace. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. 